started. <laughs> Let's get started. Some smoke through this thing, and then eventually get back to you. That Davidoff band, very standard Davidoff band. There's not like you know crazy stuff. There you go. Blend. That is a very normal band. This just is blend. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And this one is another of the double cigar review with me and smoke one if you have one. Now the story comes like this, okay? A while back, I came across a box of cigars called the Blend, Davidoff Blend. Now I smoked it on the show and I reviewed it for the show, but it's never a deep dive review. I mean, obviously, I'm doing the show. I can not uh, focus that well uh, to give you the best review. Now, I have a few sticks of this left. So I decided that why not send one to smoke one if you have one, Eric, to smoke it with me to review this for you. Okay? Now, here's a cigar. It's a very long, long, long cigar. Okay? Very long cigar. Now, the story of a blend is that Davidoff have this partnership with the, with the, this lounge called the Blend, and I think there's four or four of them in the U.S. Well, five of them in the U.S. I think four, and um, they open for five years. And in celebration of the five year anniversary partnership, they released the Blend cigar. Okay, and they are ninety five dollars each before tax. Uh, I don't know if you can still find them. It's been a while. And they were made out of the five years Ecuadorian 702. And this is one of the things that I don't think they're making it anymore because they don't have 702 anymore. So because they don't have 702 anymore, they might not make this anymore. Okay. So the binder is Dominican, the fillers are Dominican as well. And the size is eight and a half by 57. Eight and a half by fifty-seven. It's not easy. It's not easy size to to undertake. But we're gonna smoke it today. Hopefully, this is still in good shape because it's been in my humidor, forgotten for a while. Okay. It's got a a cedary and toasted nut sweetness kind of smell to it. I'm gonna see if I can find the cap somewhere here. Now, obviously, the draw is gonna be horrible right now because it's a close foot. But let's get to it. Uh, should I light it? I'll, I'll touch it up if I have to. First, we have to turn the fan on. And then, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. There we go. The thing about being able to use a soft light is that it feels nice. It's gonna burn nicely. The flame is soft and malleable. But if you breathe on it, oh, sorry. I definitely will have to touch up. But we started with this. Draw is great for me. A lot of smoke. It's 
sweet. A little bit salty and charred flavor. Mineral. Now this one I don't say a lot. It tastes like wet dead leaf. Not wet green leaf, wet dead leaf. But wraps up around with some toasted nuts or not peanut, but maybe the shower of peanut kind of taste to it. And just a little bit on the retro hill, red bell pepper. Not the spicy kind. You do get a little bit black pepper, but that smell of red bell pepper skin. It's a really good cigar. A lot of things going on though. A lot of various flavors going on. A lot of very deep, vibrant profile. It's peppery and a little bit sweet. And leafy. Now when I say leafy, it's not like a, it's not like a, not woodsy, but leafy. So it's, it's a little bit hard to describe. So yeah, let me take my time to probably, we probably had to split this to either quarters or one third. One third will be like this. So let me smoke through them. And and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> this thing's gonna take a while. This thing is gonna take a long while. Hopefully, I have enough time to smoke this tonight. But this is gonna take a long while. So I will try my best to smoke through this thing, and then eventually get back to you on the blend. Be right back. One third. Finally got through one third. And it was a very enjoyable experience. Um, the Retro Hill has this like toasted peanut kind of a flavor. And you get pepper, like constant pepper. We talk about like black pepper going on on the, on the draw. Burns good. Smoke is good. It's got like this leafy taste. And you also get a little bit of that cedar start to working its way up. Um, there's no... That initial bitterness goes away really quickly. And it's all very enjoyable flavor. It's all nice like cedar, like woodsiness, like pepper, like toasted nuts. Um, at times, at times, let me see if I can get it now. Not really, but at times you can get this like a really undertone sweetness and I can't tell what kind of sweetness it could be part of that toasted nut, but then that char kind of work its way into a sweetness. I don't know if you call that like just a sugar sweet or a, a, a like a caramel sweet. It's just a really nice smooth sweetness that works its way through, but goes away really quickly. So very easy to smoke cigar, very, very tasty. Right now it's about a medium for me. Um, I didn't have to touch up. It burns okay. Smoke output is great. You know, I, I thought I had to touch it up, but I didn't have to. So in the beginning, you know, how you saw it was burning. It, it literally was how it is. Um, let me see, show you the ashes. Like they come in nice chunks. So, um, I usually do kind of allow it to fall off because that 
keeps my fla- the flavor in the cigar fresh. And、um, this cigar goes well with a variety of different drinks. Okay, it definitely goes good with bourbon. But if you drink anything that has a little bit of sweetness to it, juice, orange juice, orange soda,、um, water, mineral water, coffee, you kind of have to make it like not as creamy. Like latte, it doesn't work with that well. But if you have black coffee, it works just fine. Just make sure you don't get those really floral coffee. Get one that has like a, you know either molasses or、um, chocolate. Cocoa, or、um, uh, like some sort of nutty、um, blend, and then you'll be able to enjoy this really well because it's called the blend. So long as the blend is right, you get everything right. I'm just really enjoying this cigar and relaxing right now because, like, I was like, ah,、oh, I gotta, I have to really. Sit here for like two hours to smoke this, but you know it, it went through quick. It went through quick. I was like, I'll、oh, just enjoy some music, read some documents, and, and really enjoy the cigar. It's good. It's really, really good. So right now, ninety five. Now, first of all, I'm giving it twenty dollars just for that box. Okay, easily twenty dollars just that box because that box is fully lacquered, red, heavy. Fully done, bottom vel-、uh, velvety、uh, lined box. It's a really, really well made box. So, okay, so this is the afterthought. I just realized that I don't have any footage of ever showing you guys the box. So I'm going to show you guys the box. This is the outer box, which is just says blend and the four、uh, individual place that has the blend cigar lounge. Indianapolis, Nashville, Pittsburgh, and the Woodlands. Okay, and the back says exclusive、uh, Davidoff exclusive, our limited edition, tailor made and personally chosen by your trusted retailer to give you unique cigar experience. And the size says that this is box number three fifty five for of、uh, out of a thousand. So inside, after you open it up, you got this little thing that protects the the cigar box. Side for now, so I can show you guys this. So you get this. Oh, three three thirty five, three thirty five out of one thousand. That's a three fifty five. It's three thirty five, three thirty five, and this beautiful mirror finish kind of lacquer box is what makes it. You know what I think. At least twenty dollar per cigar has to go to the whole this box. Bottom is lined. It's velvety. Inside, well, unfortunately, I already smoked all of them, so you just gotta see an empty box. But it's got one of these things to kind of help fan it out because it is a、um, what's that thing called? Shoot, uh, 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 Salomon. So it's tapered, like it will look like a fan to fan it out. And inside, also like this, it's a really good display case. Like you know, if I can buy a few more sticks that's individual, I'll I'll get a few more and put it in here because it looks nice. But yeah, the entire part of it, the side is also lacquered. You can see how shiny that is. Yep. So I just want to kind of do it as an afterthought、uh, to show you guys this nice gold inlaid with red and lacquer painting、uh, boxes that comes with this. And this is why I think that you know the reason that cigar costs so much is because sometimes you spend a lot of money on the boxes. And this is one of the reason. So I wanted to put it, put this in the review as afterthought. I'm getting twenty dollars just for that, right? And this thing, right now, I'll I'll give it sixty-five to seventy bucks. So it's at ninety right now. It's very close, very very close. So I think this will be working its way. To the hundred dollar range because if you ask me between a royal or this thing they're very close for me and seven o two is a good tobacco for me I don't know some people don't like it some people do so I like this one right now so let me smoke for another short、uh, two third I'll do it right before the band so we can remove the band and then we、we'll、finish up for the、uh, 
uh, summary. So I'll be right back. There we go. We had a lot, a little bit left, one third. Um, the flavor kind of flat out just a little bit, but you still get that really nice retro hill. And the retro hill gets this, uh, that woody, leafy, and, and also that nuttiness to it. So it's, cons it's still consistent with the flavor, but you have to retro hill a little bit because you start to get used to that, that, that flavor. You start to go, all right? And now it's about a medium plus, and it, you know, overall, it's still a good experience. It just takes a long ass time to finish the cigar. So if you're doing something at all that takes two or three hours, totally fine. But if you're gonna do it for like, you know, an hour and a half, you probably won't not have enough time to finish the cigar. So I probably have another half an hour to go on this particular cigar. Now, there you go. Blend, that is a very normal band. This is just blend. But you know, under that whole presentation, it looks good because it's really, it's a red box, lacquer, nice shiny red box. You open it up, all you see is long cigars, nicely, White band plus a red band. It, it works really nicely. It's just that on its own, it's kind of bland, you know? No pun intended. Bland, bland. <laughs> so, yeah, it, 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 right now, it kind of got to a comfortable spot, which is just cruising. And you continue to enjoy the cigar. You continue to smoke it. And you realize that, oh, my, my taste buds started to get used to that, that taste. Retro hill will help it, and that's where, where, where it is right now. And working through the uh, last third, right now, again, we're, we're giving the box and everything together for this price. I'm at ninety dollar right now. Ninety, okay, ninety. Ninety five is MSRP. Ninety dollar right now. Um, try to get to ninety five. See if that flavor gets me to the ninety five. But right now, even ninety is, is I think it's pretty close, pretty good. For this particular cigar again this cigar and the royal series are very very close in the level of enjoyment now that royal uh, you just had to watch the royal review but it's really hard for a cigar to get to the hundred dollar range and make it worth it right so for me this is where it is right now i'm gonna finish the last third we'll come right back into this uh not into um, back to the cigar in a summary. All right, be right back. So let's finish up the cigar and um, summary here. First of all, let's show off the Davidoff band. Very standard Davidoff band. There's not like, you know, crazy stuff to it. Just Davidoff band. Uh, even though sometimes they have, you know, the black bands and gold band, but this is the most standard one. So... This cigar is going to take you about two hours to smoke. So, if you're fast. It took me two hours. I'm just smoking really, really fast to get through this review. But most people are probably going to take two and a half hour or more for this particular cigar. It is about eight and a quarter. So, that, that is quite a bit. It's like two um, shorter version of Robusto. That took a while, right? One, one Robusto took about an hour. Two, two hour. That's, you know. So the flavor is good. It does take you a while to smoke. And by the time that you will kind of get to that level of smoking, like you got two hours of straight smoking of the same flavor, uh, even though it kind of worked its way up and down, you get used to that flavor. All right? You get used to that flavor. And as they taper in, the, the tobacco just gets less and less. It, it, you start to feel like, you're getting less of something, but more of strength. So the strength went for medium, medium plus, but it wasn't like you can't finish it. I feel like if you're not doing something particular, you will be like, when am I going to finish this cigar? Because it's taking a long ass time for me to get here. So I, I think that's the problem with this cigar is that it's good enjoyment is you know, it's worth the money. It's 90 bucks to me, not 95. But, you know, we ended up, I, I ended up buying this cigar for way more than that. Because you buy them from New York, you got to pay the tax. And, um, I, you know, at that point, you want to enjoy the entire cigar without feeling bored. And I think the only way is to, for you to get a really, really nice drink to pair with it. And if you have a good drink to pair with it, 
you can really enjoy your time without getting really bored of the flavor. You want something that can really cleanse your palate while you're at it. You know, a good, really, really deep depth coffee, right? Strong depth, in-depth coffee with a really nice flavor profile or really nice bourbon uh, that can help you uh, clean your palate so that every draw that you take is not as boring or as blend in to your palate you know once if you're tasting the same thing for an hour you gotta get used to it tasting something for two hours you don't gotta get used to it it become a muscle memory okay and especially something like this has good construction good draw and it's just very, very easy to smoke you are gonna kind of forgot you are doing this an hour and a half in okay so Good cigar, I like it. 90 bucks. But, you know, I personally feel like it's taking a little bit longer time than I want to sit down and have one single cigar. You know, if they were to make the cigar slightly shorter, uh, even as a Toro, I think I'll enjoy this a little bit more. But, and I will willing to pay that 90 as a Toro. Okay. But they made it into Solomon. It's cool. Great. You know, not not gonna be com complaining because the way the box is, as a Solomon, is big and it looks nice. <laughs> so, you know, you're gonna give and take, give and take, right? Give and take. You know, take some, there's some. Yeah. If you don't like this one, there's always a royal kind of thing. You have to decide what you want to do with it. So, I hope you enjoyed this cigar review. Make sure to check out uh, Smoke One if you have one um, version of this cigar review, the double cigar review. And if you like this, make sure to subscribe, comment, uh, share, like, do all that stuff. If you don't, that's okay. I'll see you in the next cigar review. Bye, guys.